Good morning class or afternoon class. I want to take a few minutes and show you the process that you're going to use today <clears throat> when you log into the stock market game. So before you purchase a stock, one of the things you need to do is to complete the stock information sheet, which um, the sub will give you a copy of, or you can also find it out in Google Classroom. Um, once you've completed all the information on the stock that you're going to purchase, here's how you'll log into the game. Each of you have been given a login for your team. Um, you're going to go to the section for the username. You're going to type in, everyone will start out MN with an underscore, which is the shift of the hyphen, 88 with an underscore, and then this number will be different. Mine is going to be ZZ1073. I'm going to click in the password box, and in the password, use the password that has been given to you by the sub. These are case sensitive. In this case today, mine is going to be um, three letters, all capitals, a number, combination, and when I click login, if I did it wrong, it will give me that. So let's try that again. Okay, capital M N with an underscore. 88 with an underscore and mine is ZZ1073 so I know that's correct. My password is three letters caps, two numbers followed by three more numbers and we'll do a login. This will be the information you'll get if you put in the correct information. Okay now what I need you to understand to start with is just some of the basic things on this screen. Um, first of all, you'll see across the top, it will say it's a stock market game that starts today, uh, 320. It has my name as the advisor. Our name is Thief River Falls High School. We're in the um, 10 through 12 division game. All right. You'll see in the um, account summary that you're starting out with a little over $100,000 because you've gotten some interest already. In the um, simulation, you've earned $89.61 in interest because I had our game registered a little earlier. When I get back, I'll explain the rest of this information in more detail. For right now, you just know that you have $100,000 to invest. Okay? Remember that you need to buy stocks that trade for at least $3 a share, and you need to buy a minimum of 10 shares. I encourage you to buy in lots of maybe 100, 200, 300 shares, depending on the value of the shares that you're purchasing. That's, that's up to you. Um, when you start the game to make your purchase, if you go up to these little bars across the top here, you'll see that here's the home button under the portfolio. I'll get into this in more detail with you once we've started the game and you've actually made some purchases. The trade button is the one I want you to understand today. And if I'm gonna make a purchase today, um, what I'm going to do is go to enter a trade. When I click enter a trade, I have to decide if it's a stock trade or if it's a mutual fund. Let's say that we found a stock that we wanted to buy. I'm going to click stock trade. Next, it's going to ask me to enter the stock information. I want to do a buy. Um, it's going to ask me for a valid ticker symbol. I would suggest you don't use these for looking up the symbols. Do that prior to because you will have filled out the stock uh, purchase form already anyway, so you should have that information. Um, so let's say that today um, I want to buy Nike. So I'm going to put in the symbol NKE. The um, market type of an order I want is uh, the default one, which is a market that limit order doesn't work for this particular game. Let's say the number of shares I was going to buy was going to be 200, and I'm, limit price doesn't matter because I don't have that as an option. So then I'm going to click on preview the trade. Okay, now this tells me that the game has not started yet, and so I'm unable to do that. Okay. Once the game is started tomorrow, this will be um, different. It will show you another box. It will it'll show you a uh, market price and the number of shares that you're buying for this trade. And then it will ask you to confirm the trade by entering your password. So the same login password that you used initially 
when you logged into the game, you will, you will enter that password to confirm this trade. Once you click confirm, that trade will be sent and you will get a confirmation number. I would suggest that you take a screen capture, use a shift command four to do a screen capture of that confirmation number. That way, if there's any question, we can go back and we can take a look at that at a later date. Okay. Um, once you sell it, if you decide to sell a stock, we follow the same process, but you just click the sell button and put in the information. Now, I'll be back before we need to worry about doing any selling. I just want you to be able to get started on the game and auto access, you know, the, the stock market portfolio. Okay. So the address that we're going to on this address bar, and I forgot to tell you that at the start, is www.stockmarketgame.org. That will take you to that initial login screen where we started out. Some other things you can look at on this screen, there's some uh, resources. I would suggest you go and review the rules of the game to make sure that you understand those, okay? Um, Outside of that, I think that gives you the information that you'll need to get started today. The other items under your portfolio um, tab, the um, account analyzer, the account holdings, the top holdings, none of this will, will have any um, use to you until we've started the game and you've actually entered at least one trade. Uh, we'll also come back later and we'll look at the rankings. We'll talk about what that is, but until you've had a trade entered, it, it really isn't going to matter. OK, um, make sure you've done your research and um, buying companies that you and your partner have discussed. If if you're playing the partner game, if you're investing as an individual in my building wealth class, um, again, just make sure you've done the research that you're going to be um, you're going to be able to, to justify why you're buying um, this particular stock. OK, um, have fun with the game. Um, I know that's real short, uh, brief intro but I want you to at least have a little bit of a background in order to get started on this and um, wish you the best of luck. We'll um, hopefully I'll be talking to you in the next day or so.